So I checked on the Eurotruck website to see if there's any um, news about. Oh, excuse me. Any news about um, the update for the bigger map? But there isn't anything at the moment that I can see. Uh, I don't know whether you guys have got some gossip on that. Um, apparently, uh, Farming Simulator is on the PS3, and that's pretty cool. I think the demo is on there at the moment. So if you uh, if you've got a PS3, check check that out. Um, I'm glad they're doing that across the platforms. It means more money for Farming Simulator uh, for Giants, and then more money they spend on the next um, game. Which should make it awesome. I hope they um, have a totally new engine next time. You know, I, th I think it's very similar to. Uh oh, great. That's 10 grand gone. Uh, it's very similar to 2011. Um, albeit, you know, they, they did tweak the graphics. But, um, yeah, if they went for a new engine, that'd be pretty good. And uh, UIG, they need to buck their ideas up. I, I downloaded um, Agricultural Simulator 2013 again. I swapped over my uh, save game file. And, uh, yeah, still got the spikes in the ground. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing about that. I might need to either start that again or just do everything off screen. Or, you know, w do some live stream. A couple of hours playing that live stream. Let me know what you want to see in live stream anyway. Um, I wouldn't mind playing um, Assassin's Creed 3. I think that would be quite good fun. Um, um, obviously, we've got uh, Agricultural Simulator 2013 we could catch up with on live stream. I don't really want to be playing this or my farming simulator because that's, uh, you know, people are following uh, my progress on the videos so doing something on live stream and if you can't make the live stream then they kind of missed it so or oh, if there's any any games out there that uh, you want me oh uh, somebody did mention a game what was it um, uh, think stock oh Oh my god, that was my second yawn. Jeez, I haven't yawned all day. Um, it was Prison Architect. That was it. Prison Architect. So I am going to be uploading uh, a few videos of that soon. So look out for that. And um, Deadliest Catch. So that will keep me busy. And then obviously we've got Feed the Beast as well. So there should be uh, a few good videos coming up soon. I'll try and upload as many as I can when I can. Um, and then uh, in a couple of weeks hopefully I should have a schedule worked out and I'll let you guys know and like you know Euro Truck Simulator would be every say Monday you know we could we could say and then uh, farming would be every Friday um, um, you know so we can try and work something out anyway so leave it with me you're a gamer I'm really excited about that um, a lot of people now know what I look like, so you'd be able to spot me from a mile off if you do go to uh, Eurogamer. Uh, I'll be there wearing my uh, farmer's cap again. Um, it's quite hard to take my farmer's cap off, you know. It's really comfortable. <laughs> Alright, let's turn right towards... Was that Frankfurt? Are we still in Germany? Oh, 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 oh. Took that a bit tight. I don't even know where we are. We're still 600 miles away. Um, come on then, come on then. You could do it. Come on. Uh oh, there's a wreck truck. Yeah, we're still in. Uh, we're still in Germany. Wow. Oh well. I've got plenty of recording space now. I've got a two terabyte, two terabyte recording drive. So uh, if I fill that up <laughs> in a recording, then 
I'll be shocked. Come on then. Let's build it at speed. Let's get out of Germany. Come on. God, we've got 24 hours to go. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I think we're okay for uh, for resting. Don't think we need to rest just yet. Uh, we've got three quarters of the tank of fuel. Just noticed we've got to turn right left here. Okay. Come on, you could do it. Come on then. That's it. Oh, looks like it's gonna rain in a minute. There's no shocker there. Okay, what road are we on? Oh, don't start yawning, honestly, it'll get me yawning. Stop it. Okay, so we need to rest up soon. Um, find a place to park. How many miles we got to go? 600 miles, so we're going to have to fill up before we... Uh, before we get there as well, so I might just top up when we rest. I do love the rain detail in this. I, I probably say that a lot, I know, but it's such a good game, this. And even if you're not into your simulators or your farming or anything else, I, I do recommend playing something like this, you know, just a it's just a chill out game, isn't it? And it's got like beacons! Loads of them. I love it. So, going over a bridge. Let's see if we can see any ships. No, it's too dark. And what time is it? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We can't see anything. <sighs> Seriously, please stop your horn in. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, too late. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, that was me. That was me. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, I was a bit impatient then, and uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone, but he was okay. I think it was a red car as well, so I think he thoroughly uh, deserved it. On our way to Amsterdam, or Rotterdam, or anywhere, or Liverpool or Rome. There's also um, <sighs> Game Dev Tycoon as well, which um, I've uh, I bought literally before my computer blew up. I uh, I bought that. I seen Dura put a, a video up, so I sort of hold him back on uh, putting a video up. He's done his spotlight, but um, I might give that a, give that a bash and see if you, see if you guys enjoy that and put a few vids up. See if we can. Uh, you know, top the charts and the all-time greatest game developer, Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. Oh, petrol. Lovely. Or oh, diesel. Sorry. Or oh, gas. Do you know what? The other day. I don't know if anybody else thinks this right. You know, like if you're from the UK, there's certain words that you know that we use, like lift, you know, instead of an elevator. Now, uh, I watched um, Tim Roth in um, was it elevator? No, it wasn't. It was a 
it was a ball. And uh, he said something like, um, <sighs> uh, in The Incredible Hulk. You remember Tim, Tim Roth being in Incredible Hulk? Well, I watched that, and um, he said something like, um, you know, stuck in an elevator with a softball or something like that. And I thought, that's just such a, a non UK thing to say. You know? Like, you wouldn't say that. You'd say a ball and stuck in a lift or something. You know, you wouldn't say softball and elevator. Um, and he was playing an Englishman in the film. So it wasn't like he was uh, Oscar. He's leveled up. Brilliant. So it wasn't like, um, you know, he, he was playing a part and speaking like he wasn't from the UK he was actually playing an Englishman so I don't know things like that you know I, I tend to pick up on and I don't know if you guys would do that you know in America like with uh, an American playing say an Englishman or, or, or something if that makes sense but yeah I, I watched that I'm looking for I haven't seen Iron Man 3 yet or um, there's that new one out isn't there Oh, the Fast and Furious. Is it Fast and Furious 6, I think, is coming out? Um, so I'm going to try and get, uh, try and make some time to go watch that this week with my uh, brother-in-law and uh, my mate Rob. You'll meet Rob when we go to uh, Eurogamer. He's like um, my geeky friend. <laughs> uh, he's great. So He'll be the one carrying the camera and all the bags. Well, uh, I um, don't carry anything. He's <laughs> gonna watch this and go, "Yeah, right, dream on." Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward. To and, and the t-shirts as well. I know I keep saying about these t-shirts, and, and everyone's like, "You know, where's the t-shirts, dude?" And I'm like, "I'm sorry, I'm trying. Um, I'm hoping to make some leeway on that soon." Um, I've kind of given myself the end of the June to, uh, that's my deadline, you know, I think I'm going to really, really panic if I haven't got these t-shirts and everything sorted out by the end of June, so, that's my deadline. Um, but I'm still waiting for this graphics guy to come back to me and, and do a bit of work. So yes. Oh, that's dark. Um, I think we're still a fair old trek away yet. We're about halfway, or just over halfway. Half past twelve in the morning. Travelling on the A seventy three. Check that out. I think we're in um, Holland, because uh, or the Netherlands. I don't know. Do do people say you know like Holland or do they say the Netherlands? It's kind of the same place, isn't it? Um, I suppose it's like Britain and United Kingdom. I suppose is the same place. I guess. Oh, income, Marianne. Hey, Marianne's been uh, putting some money in that drawer. That's good. Although our loan instalments at the moment are killing us. It's ten grand a pop, and uh, she's levelled up as well, which is good. So I think the higher level, the more money they make me, which is uh, a big benefit. And we can't see anything. It's too dark. It's uh, 15 degrees outside, in case you're wondering. Um, what else can I say about it? I think that's it. So I'll be interested to know what you guys think about the quality of the video, or the sound quality, and, and if anything's changed from the previous videos. Um, do I need to turn something up, turn it down? Um, to me, the only difference I can see really is my controls are a little bit 
off to what I'm used to, but I'm, I'm sure I'll get used to it fairly quick. And another thing as well is, um, you know, the the AI is 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 out to get me, um, and I'm glad I got that on video if you you know to prove it, because um, you know if SCS are at Eurogamer this year, I'm going to be having uh, a few words with them, saying that they're uh, they're red. AI engines broke and uh, it keeps trying to make me crash go on then flower is it me always had like loads of red cars and, and trucks during this video it's more than uh, any other colour it seems see red bus, red car Come on, get some variety. You know, there's no yellow cars or, or um, you know, sky blue, pink. We I see a few pink cars go by. Okay. Not quite sure what road we're on at the moment. There's another red truck. Wow, that moon looks huge. Oh, that bus looked wicked. Do you see all the orange lights along the side of it? Yeah, I think it was a bus. God, dark is dark, isn't it? Have I got the light? I've got all the lights on, haven't I? Let's have a look. F4. Yep. I've got all the lights. I'm not going to drive my high beam. I know some people said like you know you should be driving your high beam at night, but that's kind of cheating. You know you you don't do that in real life. So, but I suppose you don't get red cars running into the side of you and, and overtaking uh, on a blind corner either, do you? But uh, and if you think I'm going on about that a bit too much, you know, like stock will get over it. It's happened. Well, no. You know, the red AI is out to get me. Not the AI anymore, it's the red AI. I don't know, in their coding or something, they must have been designed, you know, t to attack, destroy uh, the person playing this game. You know, I I've seen pictures on Facebook, it isn't just me. You know, a lot of you peeps have, uh, have been through it. I've seen I've seen uh, cabs being turned upside down by a red car, I've been, you know, pictures of red cars running you off the road and you know I'm, I'm glad it's not just me oh yeah it just had to happen didn't it speed and defense on a main road on the A10 thing is my sat nav in real life has got the um I think I'll be lost without it, but what it does is it automatically well, it tells you what speed you should be travelling on the road you are. So, which is brilliant because you know even though I've passed my driving test, I've been driving for twelve years. I think um, you don't know every single road the speed limit on every single road, and especially when you're in an area that you don't know. So it's really helpful. Um, but another th another point to that as well, you know, on a car, this is really for the people that drive. You know, you, you see the needle and it's on like 40 miles an hour. I think you're not doing 40 miles an hour. You're probably doing only 36 miles an hour. So what I use the sat nav for is that tells me that. Oh God, I'm just turning it down here. Wit. Is that wit? Does that mean out? Wit. We're witting. Um, yeah, so what I do is with the sat nav, I, I tend to um, just go by what it says on there. So on the needle, it says I'm going. Oh, wrong one. I'm going, um, you know, sort of 45 miles an hour, but uh, on the sat nav, I'm doing 40. It just feels a bit weird, you know. But I, I just that's all I use it for. I I, I don't know how. I, I was told by a friend that the uh, the sat nav is more accurate than um, the the car 
what's it called? A sp speedometer, a speedometer, yeah, something like that. And um, so I, yeah, I kind of trusted it a bit too much, really. But there we go. So, and I, getting from A to B, it's not so bad, you know. If you said to me, you know, drive to my local, my local pub or whatever, yeah, no problem. You know, I, I can, I can get to the pub. But if you said, right, go from the pub to somewhere else, you know, which I didn't know about, you find it a bit difficult. Um, so that's when I tend to... Oh, Jesus, oh, no. Okay. I'm doing a UE. We're okay. This happens all the time. It's alright, it's half past two in the morning, no one... No one cares. It's fine. Alright, we're in Umildeen, I think, or somewhere. I think I've seen the sign. Um, oh, we're at the docks. God, this is the eerie place to be at night, isn't it? I'm glad I got my beacons to look after me. Lighten up the way. Right, we're going to turn left into there. Hello, yep, yeah, here's my passport. Thank you all. I think you need all sorts of uh, documentation nowadays, don't you? I know, like we're supposed to be in the EU and stuff, but I think you still need your passport and to get into uh, into the UK from outside the UK. Enter. Uh, we want to go from Idjumidin to Tyne. Embar. So uh, we're on a night cruise. That's alright. We could chill out, relax, have a sleep. Hopefully feel refreshed in the morning. I don't know if it works like that actually. I, it doesn't on the train. Oh, it seems to. Uh, it seems to on here. So that's good. Oh, we're back in the uh, back in the UK, driving on the uh, proper side of the road. Drive on the left. <laughs> Make sure you drive on the left. Imagine, right? You know, like the the prime minister or the queen or somebody like sort. Of you know, addresses the nation says from now on you sirs ladies kids men are to drive on the right hand side of the oh there'd be chaos absolute chaos there would be crash you know they're trying to keep the insurance premiums down as it, as it is you know it, if you if somebody told everybody to drive on the right hand side of the road it, it would just oh i think it's got to a point where we're so ignorant that we just never do it It'd be like a, it'd be a law to drive on the right side of the road, but everybody drives on the left, you know. Um. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I, I've even missed the signs. You know, I can read the signs now. Yeah, Newcastle, yeah, and Edinburgh, Go straight over here. Newcastle, yeah, that's my uh, Newcastle accent. Fuck on the train. It's all mine, all mine. Yeah. I'll pack that in there. Oh. Right away. I think I'll make a good HGV driver, you know. But what I'll have to do, you know, if I uh, if I win this competition, peeps, which uh, I'm quite hopeful, you know, me being a truck driver for a living, I uh, I would, uh, I'd give it my work to be, a, to be a trucky. I would, uh, I'd get a little camera inside my cab, you know, and I think I'll be doing this. Real life, you know. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine, uh, you know, me coming in, just uploading my my video for the day, talking crap to myself. And it's not so bad, you know, like when you're inside a car or inside a truck, because people think, ah, he's just on hands free. They wouldn't realise I'd be recording it for you peeps, would they? <coughs> I think that'd be pretty, pretty good fun. Because I know in uh, in Russia, uh, 
there might be other places as well, but I think in Russia they every car has these um like pretty much every car they have this high definition camera on the dashboard um because the uh the hit and runs are, are so common over there that they need uh, footage to um in order to get a claim you know to qualify i don't know um taking somebody to court for you know small claims court or whatever for insurance purposes I thought that's nuts, isn't it? It's come to the point where you have to you know, get your own camera because nobody else would believe you. You, you crashed if that, you know, uh, it's crazy. So uh, I feel for you, peeps, who live uh, live in that part of the world and have to do that. <coughs> Although, you know, I think they do drive like loonies. I've seen a few videos, um, and uh, they, they are quite funny. <laughs> it's like France, you know. If you've ever driven in France place is a nightmare it, it's bumper to bumper you know and it, it if, if they've got like an inch gap oh wow if they've got like an inch gap in front of you they try and put like a, a Land Rover you know through that little gap <coughs> yeah oh the E696 Typical two red cars in front. You watch one of them just anchor up now for no reason whatsoever apart from trying to make me crash. <coughs> the A68. I think we're okay for fuel at the moment. Oh wow, that um, cruise was quite a few miles because we're down to 78 miles now. Um, <coughs> oh look at that lovely farmland over there, the views. Are we in Scotland yet? See another little tip. You know when you're driving, like, I drive to Wales quite a lot, so I, I do see the sign saying, Welcome to Wales. You know, Wales is another country. Um, but if you try driving to Wales in this, you don't see the, 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 you know, Welcome to Wales sign, or Welcome to Scotland. It'd be quite nice if they added that little feature, so you know exactly what country you're in. Is that the Loch Ness? Is that the Loch? You can see the Loch Ness monster pop his head up. Say hello. No, we're not, because the Loch Ness Monster doesn't exist. Oh, no, that's it. I've started it. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, it's like that film, isn't it, with that guy in it? I uh, can't remember his name. can't remember the film. But um, he goes up his way to try and find the Loch Ness Monster, and then he falls in love with uh, that woman. And, ironically, um, the daughter of that woman... Is um, the Loch Ness monster's favorite, you know, like best friend? Yeah, weird. You might just try and sit down and, and explain that to the director, or, or you know, try and sell it to uh, like Disney. Oh, well, I got an idea. You know, this guy goes over, and tries to find the Loch Ness monster, falls in love with this woman whose daughter's best, whose best mates with the Loch Ness monster. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd put pen to paper. It's just me. Uh, I've been watching whale balls. <laughs> wow, that's heating up. Yeah, they're, they're starting like uh, on the um, uh, the is it Nishin Maru number two? You know the the uh, harpoon ships. They're using gr like they're chucking grappling hooks at the um, at the uh, at the small rigid boats. You know, puncturing them. Ah, okay. So we're going from somewhere to Scotland. I don't recognise that flag. That red and yellow flag. It looks like Spanish to me. But I know that can't be right. There's Ewan. Or was that Zachary? He's just uh, finishing off that field. Bless him. Um, yeah, so uh, whale, wall <laughs> whale walls is... Uh, yeah, it's a bit nuts. Like The helicopter nearly ran out of fuel on this on the last episode. And uh, I think they... Um, 
prop fouled the ship using um, uh, like a Kevlar type rope. I'm sorry if you haven't seen the program, I've just ruined it for you, but that, that's probably the three highlights in the last episode. Um, yeah, so it's exciting stuff. Um, gold diggers, remember remember a few episodes back I was talking about, uh, I quite enjoyed watching the gold diggers on Discovery. Uh, that actually starts again on Tuesday, uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So, look out for that. And uh, I kind of hope they do it. I hope I hope they they deserve a little bit of luck and a bit of money. You know that for the two seasons they've uh, they've worked their uh, butts off and haven't really earned anything. So, and I quite like all the rivalry as well between between them all. And he got to is it Dakota Fred? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes you laugh. He don't look like a gold digger. <laughs> uh, Dakota Fred. I'm just waiting for Moonshiners to come back on. I, I used to enjoy that one as well. I love all those types of reality... Well, they're not... I suppose they are reality TV shows, but... It's better than watching that Britain's Got Talent or, um, you know, X Factor or Dancing on Ice. I had one of my good friends. He bought himself um, a 3D TV uh, a little while back. And we said to him, we said, come on, we're all going out to the pub. It was a nice day. Um, come on, let's go out. He said, no, 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 I'm staying in, I'm watching Dancing on, Dancing on Ice in 3D. I was like, you boring toad, you miserable... You know, I, I can't imagine doing something like that, you know. I want to stay in and watch uh, Dancing on Ice. The wife loves it, and um, I'm quite glad that she loves it. You know, she's watching that, she's quiet, and, and she's enjoying herself, she's happy. Uh, a happy wife is a happy life. Um, oh, this is all pretty, isn't it? I haven't been down here before. So, uh, yeah. But uh, at football, we um, we do rip it into him about the old uh, 3D uh, situation. Which, rightly so, he deserves a bit of uh, drilling for that, so... <laughs> oh, he does make me laugh. He's a strange one. But yeah, so uh, there's Moonshiners I, I used to watch. Um, the Axemen. I don't know if anybody watches that one. Um, oh, Wicked Tuna. There's another one for you. See, I'm, I'm full of knowledge today. Um, I've got the wife interested in that one. It, they just finished the uh, the last season. And um, I think some of them earned like 60, 70 grand a year. You know, in I don't know how many weeks it is, like 10 weeks. Uh, so that's enough for them for the year, you know. Imagine just working ten weeks a year. That'd be brilliant. Oh, here we go. The red car is going to do it again. Well, don't cry to me when it all goes wrong. Okay, thankfully that was okay. Well, we're nearly at destination. Yeah, we've got too far to go. This digger is fine, apart from the it got rammed by it a red car in the side and it got shunted at the front by a stupid car going the wrong way on the wrong side of the road can I overtake him as well then uh, and that's when he speeds up I, I move to overtake him he's like no I have to get back in this lane oh no I'm not Let's go. Ah, I tricked him. Oh, typical. It's a red lorry. Should have known. Red lorry. The A68. Still. God, we've been on the A68 a while. I think since we come out of uh, Newcastle, we've been on the A68. Uh, we're right for fuel. We're okay for uh, tiredness. Let's just uh, keep moving on. And we're on the A720 now. Oh, the A720. What a road. <laughs> oh, I've got no idea. Never been on the A720. I think it's on the way to Edinburgh, Glasgow and Aberdeen, if my memory serves right. <laughs> Okay. 
I think uh, the mods are because I obviously copied the mods over. I think I've still got all the mods. Um, so you should see some uh, some you know um, air brake things. You know where the cab moves. There's another way to Newcastle if you go that way. But we're in Edinburgh. Yes. First time we've been in Edinburgh. Um, I was going to do a Scottish action, but I, I'm terrible. The only Scottish accent I, I can do is really is the um, the Star Trek one. All right, Captain. I haven't got the power. Which is kind of Scottish. Um, it's 30 miles an hour along here. Oh, we're back to miles per hour, which is even better. I know where I am now. Edinburgh discovered. Okay. You can wait. Or don't. Just, just drive it in front of me. It's fine. Oh, what's that? Is that is that Scania? No, nope, man. And uh, there's a hotel down there. Recruitment agency. I think we're pulling in here. Uh, no, next one. That looks like a uh, something. And then we go left here. I'm on the wrong side of the road, I am. Don't. What's this uh, construction site? <laughs> and we're going to park it up over here. There we go, peeps. My first run on my new computer. Check that out. Let's press enter just before we hit the. Oh, look at that. Okay, job completed. Good work. Good work. Good work. We should have been excellent if it wasn't for the red AI. Okay, so it took us just under 42 uh, hours. Wow. Okay. Uh, we've driven 638 miles. We consumed quite a bit of fuel. We have leveled up and we got uh, 29 grand. Beautiful. And um, where are we going to put that then? I think Eco save our fuel. Um, there's some good money to be saved by that. Just in time delivery. 6% high reward, 3% increase of finishing and important delivery. Yeah, go for that. Go for the money, honey. There we go, peeps. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stocker Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Take care and ciao for now. Acres and you've got 43.